Alright you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be looking at the Cal Poly Mustangs. Uh, a football team from California Polytechnic. My man Robert Davis, I don't know if you saw that video but he sent me a subscriber starter pack. It was with the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Pirates, uh, this team and the Pittsburgh Penguins hockey team I do believe. Anyway, we're on our second of four reactions today and I am reacting to Cal Poly, one of their games this year actually in September 2018 against Brown University. I've got a video here that's linked. My man Robert who sent me this stuff says he loves to watch their crazy triple option he run heavy offense and he thinks I'll like that too. Apparently this video may have some of that in it. Um, a triple option offense I really I, I do enjoy because well, you've either got the handoff to the running back, you've got the throw, or you've got this little pitch or little uh, lateral pass. So that's I think that's how it, how it works. Is that right? I think it is. Anyways, if not, we're going to find out. So with that being said, I better put on my hat, which I really like actually. So I want to say thank you, Robert, for my gear, my t-shirt, my hat. There ain't no time to lose. Let's get into it. What have we got? Senior fullback. Joe Prothero established career highs of 43 carries, 228 rushing yards, and three touchdowns as Cal Poly beats Brown 44-15 Friday night in Alex G. Spanos Stadium. Let's do this. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Okay, let's go. Let's go, Polly. Let's go, Mustangs. Right foot of Dylan Brady, the freshman, 13 play, 68 yard drive that took four minutes and 21 seconds off the clock now. Brady has it on the tee, 35 yard line, swinging the right leg and a high end over end kick, taken shy of the goal line by the soft. Oh! Cuts it past the 20. Oh, good run. Keep going. Mortensen is loose across midfield. He's through. Down the right sideline, Brock Mortensen with a. Oh, I thought that was the first. <laughs> it's 3 0. I thought that was the first play of the game. That's insane. What a run. Down. Wow there, Chris. Wow. Had a chance to tackle him. Blew right by him. Big stiff arm off the right sideline. Even had time to go ahead and cross over the field and celebrate with his teammates. That's a beautiful run, man. I want to see that again. All it's going to take no. is an easy handoff here around the left side. Hand off Joe Pro throw. Moving Little draw and pass there. The goal line. The and he's over. The haven't signaled yet. Now they do. Touchdown, Cal Poly. Yep, there it is. There it is, Chris. Touchdown, Cal Poly! We've got to get this t-shirt in the bloody, in the shop, man. You can do, whether it be the quarterback oh. keeping it and throwing it off that, or just handling it, handing it to your beast of a running back and saying, here, go, go get yourself a touchdown there, uh, old fella. He's always been within about three points, so a big deficit here could definitely... And again. Oh, yeah. Bang off the left, bang off the right, and he's through. Wow, and Prothro has his second touchdown of the night. Touchdown, Cal Poly. Wow, makes it look way too easy. That, that offense is just so hard to stop. Stop in the end zone. You don't know who has the ball. You don't know where the ball is. Bang, and then off the right. Good step. Props to nice the work. offense for getting in the end zone uh, and wasting quite a bit of time there. Almost about a minute and a half running down the clock, making it very, very hard for Brown University to put something together. Third rushing touchdown of the year for the sixth year senior from Concord, Alex Vega. Nice and kick. The extra point, and he does. So, and now on the doorstep again. A touchdown here would give Cal Poly their largest lead of the night, approaching the 10-minute mark of the third quarter. Jenkins, the quarterback under center, Campbell in motion. Jenkins keeps the football, reaches across the goal line, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Cal Poly. Wow, you said he was hurt before the game? <laughs> a torn PCL for Khalil Jenkins 13 days after the injury. We're seeing no effects of it as the senior quarterback rushes in his first score of 2018. And the Mustangs... Have their largest lead of the night. Look at the camera work. Get down there, mate. Get there. <laughs> Four seconds left to play in the third quarter. But instead, because it is a young team, made kind of a uh, uh oh bad decision there. Jenkins gives it away. Pro throw straight ahead into the end zone. Touchdown, Cal Poly. I didn't even see that. Score of the night, and the Mustangs go up by three possessions with 3:43 left to play in the third quarter. Typically in, in that Ivy League, that's that's what you're going to see. You're going to see a lot of passing. Defenses are going to be built uh, to stop the pass. Run game, really not a whole uh, 
Nice work. Down he goes. Matt Shotwell brings him down at the 44 yard line. Great play there by 42. Runs away. Brown needs the Mustang 26 for a fresh set of downs. McGovern to throw. Get up. Go. In the middle. <laughs> it is intercepted. He's on flips. Nichols with his first INT of 2018. And that's the cherry on top for the Mustangs. You know, I do like, Chris, how both of these teams, all the way to the end, are still fighting, but still remaining classy for for uh, both representing their universities very, very well. Sometimes at the end of the games, you see, uh, you know, a little bit of late pushing and shoving, and that's never what you want to oh! see, of course. Second and goal, Reed keeps on the <laughs> 27 was waiting for it. I was expecting the little, the draw and pass. The option and he, was out, he was open. That's like me on the wing. <laughs> that's like Jacob McDonald on the right wing, waiting for the pass. But not getting it. Let's watch it again. At the end of the games, you see, uh, you know, a little bit of late pushing. See, 27's around the outside. Fakes it. He's he's waiting for the lateral. There he is. But no. Second and goal. Reed keeps on the option and dives. Quarterback keeps it. Touchdown, Cal Poly with 16 seconds left. Another score for the Mustangs. Little pushing and shoving after Reed crossed the goal line. Um, <laughs> flies in with the Mustangs to have another touchdown. Kyle Reed, the redshirt freshman quarterback, rushes in his first collegiate touchdown. Definitely a run-heavy offense. I know what you're talking about. That's for sure. Can you imagine if that number 27 came around the outside and you had another guy on the outside of him? So the quarterback could lateral to number 27 and then number 27 could lateral it again to the guy outside him. That would be like an inside center or an outside center passing it out to the wing in rugby because you know in rugby yeah the scrimmage or the scrum is right there but you've got you might have three players this side and four players that side so you've got the defenders marking them as you throw the ball out pass it out this guy your defender is going to come up on you as soon as he does you draw him and pass you draw and pass 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 out to the open guy on the sideline in for the try or the touchdown, but he didn't need him. Anyways, guys, I look. I hope you enjoyed that video. I really do. A run-heavy offense. I enjoy it. Although I would have loved to see, you know, some of the drives or some of the best runs. Although that return touchdown was pretty damn good. I gotta say. Wouldn't it be so cool to score one of those and think, "Fuck yeah, that's on camera." <laughs> I reckon it would be cool. That's something I have struggled with with my rugby games over the past three or four years is, is getting someone to film them. No one wants to film. No one can be fucked, you know, unless they're getting paid. In which case, you know, I probably would pay someone to film my games because it's content for my channel. And there's enough people out there now that would probably watch it. So I'll tell you what, any more rugby games, any football games, anything I play, I'm gonna do my very best to try and get it on camera so I can put it on the channel for you guys to see. But this video was not about me, this was about the Cal Poly Mustangs. Good luck for any upcoming games. I feel like you're probably finished by now, unless you're in the playoffs. I hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. If you have, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'll see you soon. Peace out.